What's up team, this is Ryan Mackey, COO here at Performance QSA. If you're reading this or if you're watching this video, it's because you weren't able to make it to the orientation of our Lean in 2013 Transformation Challenge. Uh, it was a great event. We have over nearly 50 participants. Uh, we've got almost 14 teams participating. It's gonna be a heck of an event. Uh, Saturday was fun. We had the before and after pictures. Uh, we went through our toolbox to be able to see what we need to be successful, uh, how we can help our teammates out, and how as, us as individuals can be successful and then ultimately how we can win. I mean, that's what we want to do. We want to win that iPad or we want to win that uh, Nike team uh, QSA issued gear. So what I'm going to do for you right now is get you up to speed just in case uh, because you weren't here this Saturday so that you can have everything that everybody else got and give you a fair chance to win and be successful. So let's dig into this real quick. Only take about a minute or so. What we did in your toolbox, make sure you get this from the front desk. Uh, it's a folder with all the tools that you can need to be successful. Uh, we've got them at the front desk for you so that you can get those and, and be equipped to be to do what you need to do. But in the very uh, the right side of that folder, you'll see our success pyramid. This is what we base all of our coaching, all of our training, nutrition, mindset off of. And you see at the bottom, the first thing is mindset. You can't be successful without putting your mind to it. The next thing is nutrition. Uh, nutrition is a huge part. We say it all the time that you cannot out-train a bad diet. It's very important for you to hone in on your nutrition aspect. Some of you have taken advantage of the second option during the Lean in 2013 Transformation Challenge and you've added the Advocare supplementation, which is huge because you're trying to take advantage of every opportunity that you have to be successful. So that's the second part of the uh, pyramid, nutrition. And then the small part that's at the top is the training. That's the part we're gonna take care of, and actually that's probably the easiest part um, that you've gotta take care of. You're only coming in to train anywhere from three to five times a week. It's only three to five hours out of your entire week that you have to be able to commit to working out. Whereas nutrition, they're about five or six times a day where you have to make a decision to either take a step forward towards your goals or take a step backwards. And you can do neither the training part, getting here three or four times a week, or do the nutrition part five or six times a day if you haven't set your mind to it. So hence the reason the pyramid is, is, is sectioned off the way it is, okay? The next part that you will see, you will see this sheet right here, which are five steps to success. We have five different uh, keys that will be very important for you as far as getting enough sleep and recovery, making sure you're eating the proper foods, making sure that you are also giving yourself a cheat day in there or a 24 hour kind of flex period and also making sure that you're performing uh, daily self massage therapy and then also making sure you're staying consistent with your training so make sure you take a look at those things then we've got some really big tools that you can work with uh, the first one that you'll see in there is our rapid fat loss or excuse me our fat loss gps this is huge for helping you reach your goals and goals are not real until you put them down on paper this fat loss GPS is exactly that. It's a, it's a GPS system to help you get to where you want to be. But you can only do that if you put those goals down. You write them down to help you get to where you want to be uh, during this challenge and beyond that. Okay, so this is a tool from the mindset perspective. The next one in there, we've given you all two tools for this one. We've given you our metabolic meal plan, and we're also giving you 142 recipes in our recipe book. Everybody got a chance to get this this weekend, so we want to make sure that you get this. Uh, this is also at the front desk along with your toolbox. But the metabolic meal plan, this is, we've done this, I've redone this probably three or four times to make sure we can make it as simple as possible because nutrition is something that can be very confusing. There's so many things out there, there's, whether it's fat-free or non-fat, sugar-free, whatever it is, it can be very confusing. So we've put this program together to be able to help you, be a guideline for you to be able to go out, go grocery shopping, but also make smart, educated decisions as to what you need to do to be able to be successful from that nutritional component. Because no matter what you do, you got to put proper fuel into your body. You got to think if your body is a highly tuned, uh, you know, sports car, you can't just go put unleaded fuel in a in a in a Ferrari. You got to put uh, premium. So making sure you're putting that premium fuel in your body, and this is the tool that's going to help you do that. Okay. The next part. After that, we get into the training part. This is the Rapid Fat Loss Cardio Blueprint. This is an interval-based training program that you can do on your own time. We're gonna ask you to stay consistent with your training. We're gonna ask you to meet, at, get in here at least to three training sessions a day. That's gonna be one of the stipulations to win, so make sure you pay attention and watch the rest of this video for some more. But we're gonna ask you to do those things, and if you want to maximize your opportunity and maximize your success in burning fat uh, and gaining lean muscle mass, doing this rapid fat loss cardio blueprint is going to be huge for you, okay? So this is a tool for you to take that training to another level. It's got levels in here that are designed for beginners. It's got levels in here for the advanced. In all of these tools, there are some 
coaching points, if you will, in the very beginning, some success tips to help you maximize what you can get out of each one of these tools. So don't skip it. Don't just skim over it. Don't skip it. Don't not read it. Take every, take a minute, sit down, go through all these tools and realize and map out a game plan, okay? Uh, a massive action plan, if you will, is what Dennis McIntyre, our goals coach, calls it, to be able to be successful, okay? So these are some of the tools, a brief overview of some of the tools that we've given you. But like I said, there's some other stipulations as far as what you need to be able to win. So you guys know that we are having this in a team format. Uh, there's a lot of buzz about it. It's exciting because uh, you're working with other people, and so it'd be fun to share success with other people. But you guys want to know how you can win, and there might have been some confusion as to, you know, does my team win an iPod? The whole team win an iPad Mini, or does just one person win an iPad Mini? Well, to clear that up, in your toolbox, you will see some stipulations on the rules. Okay, there will be an individual, overall individual winner because we have the guys in the gut to cut portion, then we have the ladies that are in the beauty and body makeover portion. Okay. Overall, male or female, the overall winner that loses the most relative pounds of body fat lost will win an iPad Mini. Okay, so only one iPad Mini will go out. There will be an individual runner up. Okay, the individual runner up will get either the iPad Mini or spa package. The individual winner that wins has a choice between the spa or the iPad Mini. Whatever's left over, the first runner up will get that. Okay, then there are team prizes. All right, so if your team wins, then you guys will get some QSA Nike gear. Some of it may be similar to what I have on right here, but you guys can see that stuff out front. Uh, we may even add something else in there. Okay, so that's what the team gets. The team gets Nike gear, the individual overall winner gets the iPad mini. Okay, now there's some stipulations to you winning. There's some things that you have to do to be successful. And so make sure Every team is going to have to fill out this sheet right here, okay? Every team is going to have to have this filled out so that our, our coaching staff can uh, help you guys be accountable. And we need to see goals, but we also need to be able to keep track of you. And each team is going to have a team liaison, okay? And they're going to be responsible for communicating with you and also relaying that information to the QSA staff. So you've got two points of contact to help the team be successful. Now on the bottom of the sheet, you'll see some mandatory things that you have to do to win as a team and as individuals and then also some recommended things as teams and individuals, okay? So I'm gonna read those to you so that you know there's no question about what those things are, okay? Mandatory, each person has to attend at least 12 training sessions during the four weeks, okay? I know for a fact we've got a few people that are going on vacation, so that one week they can't get in you know, some training, but they have the whole four weeks to be able to get in 12, a minimum of 12 training sessions, okay? You're going to also have in your folder an online scheduling sheet. Make sure that you get that email from our admin staff and that you start scheduling your sessions online so we can keep track of them. If you don't schedule online, you don't keep track of it, then you can't win. Okay? Daily food log postings. Okay? Make sure that you post into our Google group. All right? Our Google group, we're going to email this. This video is going to be in an email, so that will be included in there. But it's the Google group email. It is lean in 2013 at googlegroups.com. That's L E A N I N 2013 at googlegroups.com. Okay, that's the email. So you have to post into that Google group at least three times per week, each person in the team. So all four of you have to post in that group in order for you to win. All four of you also have to weigh in with our registered dietitian, Rachel. Okay, and if she, for whatever reason, is not here, then you make sure you get a coach that witnesses you guys getting in here and you're getting weighed in. That's how, that's the only way you can track it. You can't go do it by yourself and just tell us that you did. A coach or Rachel has to witness it, okay? And at least two team members have to attend the Nutrition 101 course, and at least two team members have to attend our goal setting course, okay? Along with this video and this email, there'll be a, a list of the, uh, goal setting course times and also be a list of the uh, nutrition one-on-one -on -one course times okay so those things are mandatory again each person has to attend at least 12 training sessions each person must post at least three times a week in the Google group and then once per week you must meet with Rachel the registered dietitian okay at least two members must attend the goal setting course and the nutrition one-on-one -on -one. 
those are the mandatory things okay I want to make sure you guys heard those the recommended things are also on here I want you guys to take a look at those things but definitely wanted you to be able to hear uh, from the horse's mouth if you will the mandatory things that you needed to do to be successful during this uh, lean 2013 transformation challenge if you have any questions please make sure you give us a call the number is 233-9309. Uh, McKenzie will get you taken care of. If you have any questions and for whatever reason our admin staff is not at the front desk, then you can also ask your coaches and we'll be glad to assist you. But make sure you come in and get this packet with all the tools that are available. Make sure your team fills out the team sheet with all the contact information um, because our coaches, even though we are competing with you and against you, we're going to be uh, liaisons or ambassadors for your team. So we're all going to be assigned to a team. And we'll be communicating with uh, the team captain and the team liaison that you guys appoint. So we really want you guys to be successful. We're doing this alongside with you. We're also going to team up to help hold you accountable along with your teammates. So this is going to be a fun event. We hope you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, this will be kind of a theme that we'll keep uh, throughout the rest of the year. So uh, you guys are going to help us epitomize the term Team QSA. So again, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Don't hesitate and uh, good luck to you.